cat videos took the world by storm and they are still going strong. In 2014, cat videos garnered nearly 26 billion views on YouTube. And the reason being, cause they're just so cute. In truth, a survey published in the journal Computers and Human Behavior found that procrastination was a leading cause of this trend. Wait, really? You may not necessarily be watching videos of cute cats the night before your exam, but if you're a master procrastinator, you probably have your techniques. If that's the case, don't fret. According to researcher Pierce Steele, 95% of people procrastinate to some degree. It's comforting to hear you're not alone, but you're probably wondering, what can I do about it? In this video are some tips on how you can understand and overcome your procrastination. We'll also mention some practical anti-procrastination techniques you'll definitely wanna hear. So make sure you stick around to the end. Here are some tips on how to stop procrastinating. Number one, the reason. Not every procrastination is the same. Finding the reason why you procrastinate helps you better understand and build better productive habits. Sometimes you're just so bored with whatever you need to do. Everything else seems more interesting than studying for that test or writing that report or washing those dishes. Could boredom be the cause of your procrastination? Other times, you're overwhelmed with too many things all at once. The thought of 50 tasks on your to-do list makes you anxious, so you don't even wanna start. Do you think you have too many things on your plate? And for some people, procrastination is more than a bad habit, but a sign of underlying mental issues. Research suggests that procrastination can be a cause of serious stress, and it's also associated with ADHD, OCD, anxiety, and depression. If you feel like you procrastinate so much that it's starting to cause you serious issues, it would be a good idea to seek the advice of a trained professional. Number two, self-efficacy. Do you feel like you have the ability to successfully achieve the tasks that you need to do? If you believe you're capable, you're much more likely to reach your goal. That's what self-efficacy does. Self-efficacy is your belief in your ability to perform the actions needed to achieve your goals. It's an important step in your fight against procrastination as it plays a role in motivating you. Are you wondering about any techniques to help increase self-efficacy? Psych2Go's got you covered. First, reflect on your success. Try to remember the times you did something really well. Were you proud of yourself at that time? Next, identify the strategies you could use to get things done. What is something that usually works for you when you're working on projects? How can you implement that to your future responsibilities? And finally, address your fears. Are you afraid of failure? What does failing mean to you? If it makes you anxious, how can you cope with that anxiety? Number three, forgiveness. Why was I so lazy? If only I'd forced myself to do it, ugh. Situations like these happen quite often, and when they occur, we may tend to beat ourselves up. But the key to seeing a change in yourself is to leave negative talk behind. Instead, forgive yourself for procrastinating. It may sound a bit cheesy, but it's actually backed by science. A study published in the journal Personality and Individual Differences showed that students who reported high levels of self-forgiveness for procrastinating felt better about themselves, which made them reduce procrastination next time they had an exam and ultimately do better on the tests as well. Number four, anti-procrastination techniques. While you work on the root of a problem, here are some tips and tricks to get you started on your next project. Feeling overwhelmed by the sheer volume of tasks? Break your work into smaller steps. This way, instead of one huge project, you'll have a few smaller ones. As a result, you'll feel less overwhelmed and it'll feel easier to start. Keep a to-do list. This will prevent you from conveniently forgetting about those unpleasant or overwhelming tasks. Also, you'll be able to visually represent what you need to do and what is already done. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Tackle the hardest tasks at your peak times. Identify the time of day when you're most effective and do the most difficult tasks at these times. If you take a look at your smartphone's app store, you'll find a bunch of different apps designed to help with your time and task management. These apps help you stay organized and get reminders if you get a bit stuck. The golden rule is to take breaks. Nobody can stay productive hours on end. While you work on a project, remember to get up, stretch, and take a sip of water or eat a snack. Your body and mind will thank you, and you'll feel ready to continue and get the things done. Also, visualize your success. What are some benefits you'd gain if you start your project now? Would it be a good grade or a raise? Whatever it is, try to visualize it. Imagine yourself already achieving that goal and remind yourself that that's what you're doing it for. 
in the journey that is life. Anyone can fall off the wagon. What matters is you put your mind to getting back on, even if it gets hard. You need to consistently put in the willingness to follow the necessary steps and put in the effort to follow your plans. And the results will speak for themselves. We believe you can make it. What's something you procrastinate doing the most? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, remember to share with anyone who may benefit from it. Looking forward to seeing any thoughts or suggestions you might have as well in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching.